In the last section, we built out an invoice in Dubsado. So in this section, I'm going to show you how to make packages to make this even easier. To build packages, we're going to head back over to this template section. We're going to use this section so much when we're getting set up. And if this is starting to feel like a lot, I just want to remind you to push through with some of these things. Um, get your contract, get your packages and proposals built, and your lead capture. And then like some of the more advanced stuff you can skip for now. Uh, but some of these beginning things, once you get them set up, they will really start working for you. And remember that once you set up your packages, you don't have to do it again. Once you set up your lead capture, you don't have to do it again. So all of this is going to start working for you. It just takes a little bit to get set up. So bear with me. I hope it's not too overwhelming at first. So let's do our packages. This is going to look very different for different types of businesses. Here's an example of all the different packages I have in my actual live account. And so this example right here, you see we have four different line items for a total of $2,300. And there's a lot of different things within this package. So you'll see we have some description. We have a few different line items. We have different quantities of things. So we have one design fee, but then we have 100 um, envelopes and addressing. And then we have one shipping with insurance. So this is an example of a pretty common package that I would use. And then what I could very easily do is manually add on some of these other packages, such as calligraphy guest addressing, um, envelope liners, silk ribbon wrap, foil upgrade, etc. And all of these packages you can move around so that when you're actually using them, the ones you use the most will be at the top. They're not automatically in any kind of order, um, but you can actually move them around for what's going to be the most convenient for your business. Now, if you're a stationary designer, you might find this a little overwhelming because there is a lot of different options. So this is an all-in-one package that has like three piece invitation design, printing, and addressing. And we've got all the details on everything that's included in there. We also have this more like basic package that has everything itemized out. So there's a few different ways you can do this. What I like to do is set everything up um, at 100 quantity. So because that's the most common quantity that I use, you could also set up the exact same packages at, you know, 50, 75, 100, 125, etc. and encourage people to only buy um, buy that quantity. I typically will go in and I'll send them the 100 if they're anywhere close to 100. And then I'll go through and update the quantities for them because it really doesn't take that much work once you have the packages built out. So how do you do that? Set back to our demo account and click add package. And then we'll edit our name. So we'll say like stationary package. And then we'll just add our line items exactly as we did on the invoice. So design fee. And I put a nice description of what this is. I like to really focus on my design fee because that's like what they're paying specifically to work with me and what they can get anywhere else. Um, so I put a nice description in here for that um, one. And we'll say that's $1,500. And maybe this doesn't need tax because it's a non-taxable service. That's going to depend on your tax code, where you are and what the line item is. We'll add our item here. And then for production, we'll say like five by seven invitation, four bar RSVP card, and two corresponding envelopes. So this is like just the basic package that almost everyone gets. We'll get a hundred of those and we'll say that's six dollars each, not a thousand of those. That would be nice. <laughs> we'll do a hundred. And on this item, we would need to have tax, um, not the 20% that is listed here, but maybe we have, um, we'll just say sales tax. And I think it's about seven and a half percent. And you can program those in so that you can just use them from the drop down. Then we'll say envelope liners. We'll get a hundred of those. And then now we don't need to do a new tax item, but we can just select that sales tax from a dropdown. If you ever add something like this and then don't see it in the dropdown, just do a refresh because sometimes it just hasn't gone into the system officially yet. And then let's see, we'll add some shipping. And I like to put that kind of disclaimer there. And I usually put mine at $65. We don't do tax on shipping. And so now we have this package created and we can return to packages and see it right here with all those items. Now, how do we add that to an invoice? Let's head back over to our Doug and Patty invoice. I'll create a new invoice on here. 
and let's make that one the primary. Now we have this blank invoice. Again, we can always add the line items, but if we go to packages, we'll see all of our packages in the order that we put them in. So we can click stationary package and all of those line items exactly as we put them in are already on here. Now just imagine if we have this and then we also have our existing payment plans. So we can just grab one of those. The invoice is so easy to create. So that's why when you put up the work up front with Dubsado, it's really going to save you so much time and energy. And then it's really easy, like say there, they need 110. It's really easy to go in here and change it. Change just these two line items to 110. One thing I'm, I have been asking Dubsado for for years is the ability to change multiple quantities at once. We'll see if we ever get that, but it's really not that big of a deal to change it to 110. If you only sell in certain quantity packages, you could just make a package of each quantity and then you don't even have to do that. And as a reminder, if you've created additional packages for add-ons, things like gold foil, ribbon in my industry, whatever it is, uh, you can just select those here too and it will add it on. So I like to create kind of a basic package that's gonna have everything I need, whether that's one line item with a bunch of descriptions or a bunch of different line items. And then I'll create those add-ons as their own packages so I can add them in as needed. You'll see another reason why packages in Upsado are so powerful in our next section where we go into proposals. I'm super excited because this is going to put this whole proposal contract invoice section together for you and you'll start to see how just all the magic starts working together to save you time and energy and make you more money. Okay. So join me in the next one for more info on Dubsado proposals.